Welcome to part two of our How to Mod Sid Meier's Civilization V. If you watched part one, this is right where we left off. Colosseum Happiness showing up in game. Now let's say you're a warmonger and you're watching this and you're thinking, that's a stupid mod, happiness. I want something that adds attack. Or let's say you're a specialist freak and you're like, I want extra specialists on my temple or on my university. Where we're going to show you where to go to look up the coding that you need to type to make the changes that you want to make. So let's minimize this for now. And let's go to my computer. Then we're going to go to your program files. If you have a newer Windows, it's x86, wherever it has uh, all the Steam files. There we go. Then we want Steam apps. Then we want common. Then we want Civ 5. Then we want assets. Gameplay. XML. So finally, here's all the goodies. This is kind of where the blueprints are to show us all the little headers that we need to type to make everything show up. Alright, so let's say you miss Long Swordsman's strength being at 18. So you want to mod it back to 18 up from 16. So you want to click on that units folder and then it's going to bring you up this is you know every unit in the game. Got to sift through all this to find Long Swordsman. Oh look there we are. Very good. So these little headers tell us what we need to type in the mod buddy to make our changes. Let's pull back up our mod buddy. So the first thing we do is units category. Longswordsman is under a units category way, way, way back up at the top there, but I'm not going to take the time to scroll back up. Okay, then we want update. Then we want set. And you'll come over here. Combat equals 18. Then it needs to know where. Where type equals unit underscore long swordsman. Now one thing you always need to keep in mind when you're making changes like that is that that's not completely fair to people that have a unique long swordsman because that's only going to apply to the basic long swordsman. So we want to come down here and see the samurai is still at 16. So to be fair to Japan, we're going to have to make a new entry here, update. Set combat 18. And then where type unit underscore, just like it appears, Japanese samurai. There you go. Alright, well let's suppose maybe for a minute that you're not a warmonger and that you think long swordsman attacking at 16 is just fine. But you want to have some extra specialist slots on some of your buildings. Alright, let's take a look at how to do that. Let's close out units. Let's find buildings. Buildings. Scroll down here a little ways. Opera House, there you go. So you want two artists on your Opera House, or however many. We're going to go back under the Buildings tab. We're going to add a new update. We're going to go Set. Specialist Count equals four, just to be funny. How do we know this is what we type? Because you come over here, it's right there. Specialist count. Okay. Then where type equals building underscore opera underscore house. 
go. One thing to do, I keep forgetting to do it after all my things, you need to remember to go up and, and build your little mods so that it updates for the game database. Alright, so let's do one more thing. Something that's just uh, slightly, slightly more advanced. Uh, something that's not just simply updating. Uh, let's say you think uh, Coastal Toss having two food, one gold is a little bit weak and maybe they should be uh, three food a gold or two food a gold in a production or basically whatever you want. That's the fun of modding, right? So we're going to leave the buildings tab, we're going to come way down here. There's a category called Building C-Plot Yield Changes. So we're going to need a new heading for that. So that's just for this example, let's just say you think the harbor when you build it, it should add an extra food on top of the one that the lighthouse adds. So we're not just going to use the update command because harbor doesn't exist in this in this field. So notice when they add an entry, they type row. So we're going to follow suit. Then we're going to do building type. Building harbor. Yield type. Yield food. And then we need a quantity. Uh, plus one. So basically, type, yield, and then quantity. Boom, boom, boom. Just like it appears right there. You always have to keep in mind when you're doing stuff like this that there's just a lot of guesswork sometimes. Uh, but I hope this video helps some people make some uh, good mods. And I hope that uh, some people get excited about modding. And um, most importantly is just have fun. And, um, you know, mod the game the way that you want to play it. And uh, good luck everybody. For Game Axiom, I'm Jonathan.